Alrighty, so now let's get some dinner started here. So, I don't know what to call this because it's kind of my own concoction. So, <laughs> what we're going to do first is turn our burner on. And what I do is because Tom won't be out of work for an, almost an hour, so it'll be almost two hours before he gets home. So I actually just cook this on very low, and that way everything gets finished, and when he walks through the door, dinner's hot and ready to go. So I'm going to use my own canned butter, which I'm telling you guys, if you ever can your own butter, it is so, so good. We're going to let it melt just a little bit. I use quite a bit in there because there's going to be potatoes in there and I want everything to be, you know, cooked and put in the deliciousness of the, of the butter. So the next thing we're going to do is add garlic. And I use quite a bit of it because believe it or not, you'd think you'd taste a whole lot of it. And actually with everything cooking, you really don't. I buy the great big thing of minced garlic because we go through quite a bit. All right. So as soon as that starts to melt just a little bit. This one, actually, the prep work, if you cooked it on medium, it'd be done in no time. But um, because I cook it on low, it takes a bit. And then I'll just put my pan lid over top of it, and it takes a minute, so it's really good. All right, the first thing I'm going to add is I chopped up some potatoes, and I didn't peel them or anything. I mean, I washed them up really good, but add your potatoes. And I'm making a big amount today because... Tom has to work tomorrow, and I want to make sure that there's enough for his dinner. And then when I get an abundance of um, onions, I make sure that I cut them up and I freeze them. So then I have onions for whenever I need them. And of course, put onions into your taste. Nothing here is measured. <laughs> and then I have, they had steak on sale. And so I bought... Um, two small steaks, and then I cube them up. Tom, actually, the reason he kind of likes this dish is because he can have steak, he can have his potatoes that he loves, and he didn't have to cut up anything. <laughs> so he likes that. And the next thing is fresh mushrooms. It looks like a big pile right now, but believe me, it'll all shrink down when you mix everything together. And like I say, I let it cook for a little bit before I worry about stirring it because everything will shrink down. So I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. And then we'll let Tom be our taste tester again tonight. But <laughs> what I usually do is I usually put our A1 sauce, which my sister over at Nessa's milk is going to be like, ugh. But I happen to, it's not that I like to ruin a good steak. I truly do like the taste of A1. Oh, you know what? I forgot salt and pepper. I just love the taste of it. So, it's not that I want to ruin a steak. <laughs> it already smells so yummy with everything put together. So, um... When it gets done, everything's mixed together, and then I actually just put A1 sauce on the top of it and mix it all in with it, and you guys, it is so good. And it has, you know, a little bit of everything in there. Um, it has your meat and potatoes and onions and garlic and, you know, your mushrooms can't leave the mushrooms out. So, well, I guess you could, but I don't. But anyways, I'll bring you back when it's completely finished and, and Tom can taste it for you. And um, he won't lie either. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I'll bring you back when it's completely finished. And again, I want to thank you guys, everybody, 120, one at a time, that's all it takes, you know, and it's great, you guys are, you just really make me so happy that you guys even want to watch my videos, because I'm just an everyday girl that's just bringing you along, having fun, and, um, I do want to say, you know, like, I haven't said it in a while, but 
you know, they came back with all the, how our, um, our economy's not going good. So, um, everything's up 9.1%, and that means food's going to get more and more expensive. So if you guys have not started stocking up a little bit, you know, even if it's only buying a couple cans of corn, a couple of cans of canned chicken, um, the main thing, too, is during this time, because we don't know how long this is going to last, learn skills. If you don't know how to can, learn. If you don't know how to, you know, preserve your foods, um, garden, whatever it happens to be, learn those skills because they're going to be very valuable skills. Um, try to stock up just a little bit. But anyways, until this is done and I come back, I do want to thank you guys. I'm having a good time, and I really hope that you enjoy our videos too. And, um, you know, try to be a blessing to someone today because it's getting rough on people out there. And I'm reading stories, and it makes me very, very sad, and makes me wish I was rich and could help everybody. But anyways, you guys be a blessing to somebody, and I'll be back. So this is finished dinner, and there's Tom's plate. All right, Tom. Take a bite. You have to tell us how good it is. You can't just keep eating. <laughs> no. <laughs> he loves this. This is one of my dishes I like to make. You guys have a blessed day.